Historic fishing pier is shrinking, not physically though, but finding a spot on the George Crady Pier in Nassau County is getting a little bit harder because of closures. And there could be more of those closures on the way. So on your side, Zatia Collins, she spoke with people who are trying to save the pier. Families like Latrice Bells have been coming to the George Crady Bridge Fishing Pier for years. This is our livelihood. This will cut off a lot of families. Named in honor of State Representative George Crady, who fought to save the bridge for public fishing after it was closed to traffic in 1999, deterioration over the years has changed the popular fishing spot. As you can see here, pieces of concrete are missing, and this padlock fence restricts nearly half of the bridge from use. Look today, too many people coming in for fish, you don't have a spot for fish now. Mr. George Crater told me years ago there were money allocated towards maintaining this park. That was in 03. Nothing has been done. Where is the money? According to reports from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, after Hurricane Matthew in 2016, Bridge repairs were determined to be unfeasible. Fencing was installed in 2018, limiting access to the Nassau County side. Since then, the security fencing has been moved to the center of the bridge based on safety concerns. And now this notice is warning of even more future closures. This is the forgotten bridge. We would like to see this bridge open up from Nassau to Duval, from Duval to Nassau like it used to be. Since collecting this interview, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection has installed an automatic electric fence that opens and closes during operating hours. Representatives say a project to improve safety railings is currently under Underway. Reporting, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.